My name is Zola Mumford, and I am the curator of the Langston Hughes African American Film Festival. Seattle, as um, a port city, has always been kind of a magnet for people who have very diverse interests and very diverse backgrounds, and continues to be a really interesting place for African American and I would say increasingly um, first and second generation African creative people. In the festival's 12th year, it is really interesting to look back and consider all of the changes. The technology has changed a great deal. We used to show things on VHS. I remember having a beta film <laughs> one year. It's wonderful to see how, as digital technology has become smaller, more easy to maneuver, more affordable. We receive many more films in our call for work. Since that seems to have kind of converged with the popularity of online fundraising and crowdsourcing and the affordability of digital technology, we suddenly find ourselves with 140 film entries as compared to, oh, say, 50 eight years ago. It's really, really different, and it's absolutely fascinating to see how many different types of film are out there. We've really got some great films this year, and we do always, every year, but you just get excited all over again. My name is Angela Gilliam. For me, teaching with film helps uh, an American, especially who's been educated here, to sort of taste and um, smell and touch the rest of the world. We get so much distortion in the media or I call fanciful stories about not just ourselves but about other people around the world. My connection to Langston Hughes is in a, in a way to bring, to counter this artificial construction of the world that we grow up with as education. I think African Americans, and to tell you the truth, I think most of the Americans, Asian, white, black, whatever, are starving for really good, solid storytelling that rings of truth in it. We don't have enough places where people who feel oppressed or mashed down can actually participate in challenging a master narrative that is the dominant story. And I think we could do something amazing, but we're not doing it in this country and we're bought off by nonsense. That's what I feel is my mission even if I don't complete it is to participate in transforming our society. My name is Naomi Ishisaka and I've been working with the festival since 2006, so 10 years now. My work has largely been to make sure that the presentation of our materials and our marketing is of a quality that makes the audience want to take part. I have a passion for arts and film and, and cultural production. I think um, film festivals like the Langston Hughes African American Film Festival as well as other culturally specific festivals provide a really critical avenue for people of color to get their stories out there. And if we don't do it ourselves, um, by and for ourselves, then we're not going to have those stories and we're not going to see we're not going to see ourselves reflected in, in our larger community, in our larger culture. Seeing the work presented, the, seeing the films shown, seeing the filmmakers come and, and share their vision is, is such a powerful experience. and um, It's really transformed my life. Like the people that I've met through the festival, the filmmakers, the audiences, um, it's, it's been really transformative. Every year there's kind of a piece of art which has typically been work from Inye Wakoma, who's a good friend of mine, and his vision and his aesthetic in terms of the art that he puts forward that then we incorporate into the design is 
really powerful and really beautiful and I think it sort of set an aesthetic tone for the festival that has really um, set the festival apart in kind of a unique way. My name is Inye Wakoma. I'm filmmaker, photographer, visual artist, media consultant, resident of CD, love my town. I have been contributing art to the film festival, I guess, for the past 10 years. This year, we embarked on the process of creating original art. I had the idea of engaging the community in, in the art and hosted a series of photo shoots at Langston to do portraits. Having the faces embedded in the film strips with uh, the words representation, visibility, and identity with the Black Power Fist, you know, is a, a way of pulling together the notion that film and media are key parts of our liberation struggle. As someone that was born and raised in the Central District in Seattle, you know, creating this poster, particularly in this way, and what we came up with, that entire process was, you know, collaborative from front to back. You know, we can name folks like Quincy Jones and Jimi Hendrix, who have all been a part of the Central District creative legacy. Ray Charles is a part of the Central District creative legacy. Jacob Lawrence, um, James Washington. It's important not just for black folks to have something like Langston Hughes and the African American Film Festival as an institution and as an event that really speaks to who we are and who we've been in this space. It really does allow me to be a part of the historical legacy of black creativity. It's important for us to continue to have something that affirms who we are in this space so that we can continue to, um, we can continue to create in whatever ways that we create. You know, you may not be an artist, but living here and contributing to the community um, is an act of creation. My name is Amin Gabraab. I finally uh, finished the documentary I've been working on. It's uh, a journey we took a couple of years ago with 15 students along with a uh, Ethiopian professor. It was a journey that meant so much to me because I'm from Ethiopia and I'm also American. So it was like, it gave me insight into who I am through other people's lenses. So it was a beautiful journey. Growing up, I always thought people that, you know, have a movie or a documentary out was like Hollywood people only. And then through the process of being at these small film festivals, I realized you don't have to be making this cinematic films to be, to tell your story. And, you know, I realized I wasn't going to be that kind of filmmaker. So Langston Hughes, it's like my hub for everything I want to do. It's, I wanted to be a filmmaker way before I even realized it because I used to go to their film festivals when I was growing up. Filmmaking is, is it's a tool for me. And so to have places like Langston Hughes, it's, it's super empowering because my film, even though it's not picture perfect, they took it in and they say, let's show it. And then now let's improve upon this and that point. I never had that very professional feedback connecting me with other artists that can enhance my you know audio work for example I, I learned a lot this just like really um, stimulates my mind and makes me do more it opens up doors for me my name is Karen Toring as I grew into learning more about the film festival and started talking to filmmakers and started to get more deeply involved with the festival, I started to realize how important it was to the filmmakers to have this space, to have a black film festival that was really dedicated to their work. I'm always amazed at what happens uh, between a filmmaker and the audience during the Q&A. Because, you know, filmmaking, even though, you know, a filmmaker can employ a hundred people just in the course of creating a film, there's a certain solitariness to filmmaking. So to see filmmakers sort of get back all of that energy 
that they put into the film through the audience, through the hustle and bustle of you know people coming into the theater and, and the, the the adrenaline of the Q and A because you know we never know where the questions are going to come from or or what they're going to be like. Then I had a whole other appreciation of just how important black film festivals or film festivals in general are to filmmakers. There's a kind of closure and processing that happens when a filmmaker and an audience are in the same space. The sender and the receiver are finally in the same room together. And that kind of energy is really indescribable. My name is Jacqueline Moscou. I am the Artistic Director of Langston Hughes Performing Arts Institute. The film festival started as a weekend series. That weekend we had, I believe, 14 films and maybe as many people. <laughs> because you're living in a society that is oppressing you for your race, you really need opportunities to actually get that oppression out and turn it around and have discussions for it. We have a filmmaker's round table, and in that round table we have many relationships that filmmakers have made that have gone on to other things. We have filmmakers that have found producers here. This festival is not based on trying to get the next filmmaker that's going to make it in Hollywood, even though we do have that, it really is an entry-level festival. And whether you're a beginner and an amateur, or whether you're Ava DuVernay, you are all part of the collective voice that we have as a people that is extraordinarily diverse and extraordinarily human. And it counterbalances the philosophy that racism puts you in, where if it's black, then number one, it's not universal. Number two, oh, that's just about black people. We all have stories, but we have very specific stories about our living environment, our cultural environment, and that's something that everybody needs to see. We need to see each other's specificities, and that's where we find our universality. Mm -hmm.